In this video, I am going to show you how to configure Huawei EG8145 V5 Wi-Fi router. For this purpose, we need to log in the router with username and password. The default username and password is EP user user EP or you can refer from the video description. First, I am going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. This is a dual band router. It will support 2.4 and 5 giga Wi-Fi. For changing the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password, we require to change 2.4 and 5 giga separately. First, I am going to show you how to change the 2.4 Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. For this purpose, we need to select Advanced WLAN. Here, we are able to see 2.4G basic network configuration. For changing the Wi-Fi name, we need to change the SSID name. If you want to update the Wi-Fi name, here you can update new Wi-Fi name. For changing the password, you need to select WPA pre-shared key. Here you can change the Wi-Fi password. If you want to see the Wi-Fi password, you can uncheck the hide option. If you are connected with the same Wi-Fi name and password, once after changing, your connectivity will be loose. You need to reconnect with the new name and password. Here I am not changing any settings or password. If you are selecting 2.4G advanced network, you are able to change region, Wi-Fi channel and Wi-Fi channel mode. The same way we are able to do the configuration of 5GB Wi-Fi settings. Now we are going to check how to do the DMSZ configuration. For this purpose, we need to select forwarding rules DMSZ function. Here you can do the DMSZ configuration. Except the port forwarding ports, rest all the port will be forwarded to the specific IP if we are configuring the DMZ. Once after selecting the DMZ, you need to press new button. Here you need to enable the enable DMZ checkbox, then van name. If you are having multiple van, you need to select the specific van. Here I am having only one LAN, so I am selecting the same van. Then enter the host address, internal server address or you can select from the right sides. Once after selecting the host, you need to press the apply button. Now our configuration has been finished. If you want to delete the DMZ configuration, you can select the DMZ policy, then press the delete button. Now I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding in this router. For this purpose, we need to select IPv4 port mapping. Here you need to press the new button for new port forwarding. First we need to select type here you are able to see user defined application user defined means we can define the policies application means here you are able to see predefined application ports if you are selecting that application the port will be configured automatically we need to enter only the ip address here we are using the user defined application first enter the mapping name for identifying the port forwarding then select the van name if you are having multiple internet, we need to select separately. Here I am having only one internet, so the default name will be same. Then select the internal host. Either you can choose from the right side, from the DHCP, or you can manually enter the IP address. Here I am manually entering the IP address. Leave the external source IP address as blank. Then press the add button for adding the protocol. If you are using TCP protocol, you can use TCP. If you are using UDP, you can choose UDP. If you are using TCP and UDP, you can select both. Then enter the internal and external port number. Here you are able to enter starting and ending port. If you are using same port, you can enter both starting and ending as same port number. Once after entering internal and external ports, if you want to again add another port, you can press the add button. Here I am using only one set of selection. Then press the apply button for saving the changes. Now our port forwarding has been completed. If you want to delete the port forwarding policy or modifying the port forwarding policy, you can select the selected policy and then you can modify. If you want to delete, you can press the delete button. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.